Seven at the house now. Have him come up and have FD come up. <laughs> Tell me what happened real quick. <laughs> I didn't know who was loaded. I didn't know it was gonna shot it, and it did on the stomach. <laughs> God, so what were you doing? Were you fighting or what? <laughs> we were just playing around. We were playing around, and you accidentally shot him. Yeah. Okay. What kind of gun? Where's the gun at now? <laughs> it's on the floor. Okay. The girlfriend accidentally shot him. <laughs> rifle and um, uh, she said can you teach me how to shoot it and then uh, she put her hand on the trigger she said she barely touched it and the round went off and it capped him probably in the lower like leg groin area and uh, she's still here at the scene and that's what we got 
Everything seems to go along with what she says. I mean, so far, what they say. Two paramedics have cut, yeah, cut right through the bullet holes. Both of us on his right side, you said? Yeah, that's right. Right there. He's real lucky. Yeah. About an inch lucky. I'm going to be 1149. Let's go ahead and start a cover unit road in the road for a second. 104, you have to cover 647 at the road in the road. I, I know he had a suspension as of uh, 817. Can you check that one? The last one was affected 429. I don't know who the other guy is. The guy to the right there is the Hells Angels associate. He's a total jerk. Get off the bike. Get off the bike, man. Go and step off the bike. Because I said step off the bike. Let me see your driver's license. You know I got a no, we didn't. Let me see your driver's license. Let me see the driver's license. See it? This is it, right here. Give me your driver's license. Hey, man, you don't try to clean. Here's my driver's license. Here, here's my driver's license. Right now, Dennis, then you're getting real close. Paul 7, unit calling ID only. You cut yourself off. Spring Valley, 6 to Paul 7. 6 to Paul 7, you'll be next. No, no, I want you standing right here with me while I'm conducting business. Hey, this is how Susie the cops are at me again for no reason. I'm sitting at a parking lot. Here. You guys check out the phone, will you? Use the other phone, will you? Yeah. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? I'm too good, man. You you know I got my license back. The sergeant told you I got my license back. He told you outright. I got my right to your face. Nobody told me I had a license. You're not a bit. Now you're lying. Now you're lying. I took it from you. Do you remember? I'm lying now because the sergeant came and you told you that it's distinctly because I got pulled over here. Did you not? Did you not? Give me your license and surrender yes. your license. Did, you, did your sergeant not come get you and no, tell you? No, he did not. Okay. You guys keep messing with me and keep messing with me when I get the 60 license. 60 Paul 7. I, I know he had a suspension as of uh, 817. Can you check out? And if, if I go, I take you with me. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. You ever Just touch me, me? You ever touch me? Okay. You better hurt me bad because I'm coming after you. Don't worry. Take your badge off. You've got a badge. We'll go to any time you want. No, you didn't hear what I just told you. Yeah. Okay. Any time you want, man. I'll meet you anywhere you want. You just heard. You just, you, you just heard what I just told you. All right. So Grand Paul, he's on probation through nine of ninety-two for twenty-three one sixty-two. Where you go now? Okay. As of right now, the computers show that your license is valid. All right. A as of right now, okay. all right? But I'm going to check on it. Oh, I know you will. All right? Because the computer shows that as of 817, for us in the Highway Patrol, your license was suspended. Well, well, why don't you, let's do a check. Why don't you check a little deeper, like the, the little back numbers you guys got. I ain't no dummy. I know the whole thing. You just want to back you, you just want to, yeah. See I'm this, not, listen, see I'm this. not going to stand here and argue I know. You it. don't want to hear my part. You only want to say what no, you want to say. I'm not going to argue with so you. I can leave. Okay. We'll see you. You're damn right you will. In court, too. That's fine. Because you know what? I'm filing a civil suit, and you're the main that, one on it. That right? is fine. No problem. Because you know why? Okay. Because it's like this. Especially when... You were uh, leaving, weren't you? Excuse me. Especially when uh, you guys were eating breakfast, weren't, and you guys were talking about me, when I got friends behind you, and you guys don't even know it. That's fine. I got fine. you on tape, bud. That's fine. See, you, you can, all, really, you can bring really. it all to court. That's yeah. fine. No problem. Hey, I'll bring it to court. That's right. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. deputies over in Santee, yeah. and it's an ongoing thing with the sheriff's department. Yeah. I, I keep receiving complaints from this guy, but he never tells me that he flips off the deputies when he, as he's going by. He gets in Bob's face, brushes against him. He's lucky he didn't go to jail. We had a family disturbance. Um, husband is possibly extremely drunk, and uh, he's banging on the door demanding to get in, and the wife won't let him inside the house. That's probably going to be him right here. I'm going to fight with his wife. So let's see what he's got to say. Hey, how's it going? 
not too good, sir. Not too good, huh? So uh, I understand you and your wife aren't getting along right now, huh? Yeah, it's because I didn't bring her. <laughs> I didn't go pick her up for lunch today. So she was embarrassed in front of her friends. I don't understand. I said I was going to go pick her up and take her lunch today. She was all impressed, and I didn't show up, so she was pissed off. I came back, and she had dented my car, treat me like <laughs> So I got mad. I got voice for us. I was talking mean to her. So she just won't let you in the house then, basically? And then I held the window open because I wanted to not let her think she's going to lock me out of the window. She was stabbing me with a pencil, so I let go of her. I just let go of the window because I don't want to keep on stabbing me. And then the neighbor opened the door to be in I don't I got embarrassed. So I just walked off, and here I am. Yeah. She wears the pants around the house. Not a bad life, huh? your wife? Yes, sir. She says you didn't hit her or do anything tonight, but she doesn't want you in the house for tonight because of the argument. And she's gone so far as to kick my car, talk all kinds of mean stuff to me through the window, and then look at me with the keys in the, in the window like, I can't drive off. You guys wouldn't have been here. She had my keys. Oh, she has your keys? I don't have the keys. Oh, you get the keys for no. She'll take the ones. I even said keep the door keys off. Just give me the keys to the what car. The plans for my plans, I can leave. Okay, Mrs. Valenzuela, can you hand the keys out to his car? Yes, I can. Okay, just go ahead and just hand them out then. You don't have to come out. Thank you. You guys need to work things out tomorrow. She uh, threw these out. I don't know if she took out the house keys. Whatever. Sure she did. <laughs> she sure did. She sure did. You got your keys to your car, though? Sure. You know how women are, man. They have to you know, change their mind. Give her a call tomorrow or later on tonight, maybe, and talk over to her. Go for it. She does weird things. Time for me to get PMS cramps this week. I'm tired of it. Well, basically, it's been reported as an attempted kidnapping. Uh, information we have at this point is a Mexican male adult held a small child at knife point. Uh, virtually don't have any more info than that. She evidently escaped from the guy about a half hour ago. 31 Paul 797. Can you tell me what happened, Donna? I was coming around the bend and this guy... Is this on, on Beaumont? Mm -hmm. Were you coming home from school? Mm -hmm. Okay. And there were no kids around me at that time. And I was coming around, and somebody grabbed me and he turned me around and he put my her the eyes of his uh, his hand over my eyes, and I, I started to want to scream. And he put a knife to my throat and he said, "If you say if you start screaming." Then I'm going to slice your throat. And so I didn't say anything. And then he started getting a little bit closer, and I hit him. Where'd you hit him? In the private spot. Oh, that's good. That's very effective, isn't it? <laughs> What'd you hit him with? My knee. With your knee? I like that. So do I. Yeah, that's very good. I would have stayed behind. And, and then you ran and ran and ran and didn't look back, didn't you? Because I was afraid he was going to go after me. You did real good. Can you describe him for me? Mm -mm, because... I, I didn't see anything when when I hit him, I turned like that and I started running back. So you never saw him at all? Mm -hmm. He grabbed you from behind and covered your face? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. And he turned me around. And when he turned you around, he still had his hand mm -hmm. on your face? Second time so, so you didn't see anything at all? You can't tell me what kind of clothes he was wearing? Mm -hmm. Was he Was he white? Was he Mexican? Was he black? He did have an accent. What kind of accent? Like a Mexican accent. Did you see what kind of knife it was? Did you see the knife? Because mm -mm, he was holding his hands tight. It was hurting it right here. And but you say he held a knife to your throat. Mm -hmm. How do you know he held a knife? I don't because know. you saw it or because he told you? Because mm -hmm. he told me. And I don't know. Okay. Is that the exact word he used? Slice? Mm -hmm. Cut my head off. Is that what he said? He actually said, cut your head off? Okay, you show me the way you walk home, okay? You walk the same way to school? You go this way? There's okay. a shortcut too, but see, nobody can drive through. You can't get a car through there? Uh -uh. So this time I tried walking home the different way, you know, the regular way. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, why don't you show me exactly where you were, okay? You're walking up on this side of the street. Oh, he did drag you? Okay, I didn't understand that the first time. So he grabbed you out here, and you're saying he grabbed you kind of like this, and dragged you through the bushes? All the way to the other side? Not all the way to the other side, but all the way back there. Just okay, where the dirt is back there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he, he, and then he turned me around and he covered my eyes, and he, and he, um, put a knife to my throat. Said, if, um, you scream or anything, that, um, I'm gonna cut your head off. Okay. And that's when you kicked him and ran. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna look back there. But somewhere in here. Okay. I just want to see if you left anything behind. It's really unfortunate. It's probably not going to go anywhere. We don't even have as much as a clothing description. So where are we going to look? Who are we going to talk to? Basically, I'll just step up patrol in this area over the next few days and start stopping and contacting more illegals I might get lucky. I might talk to the, the perpetrator. The worst I can do is make him uncomfortable in this area and maybe move on. Uh, we got a call of uh, some type of disturbance at this uh, pizza place that we're pulling up to right now. Uh, we really don't know. Just somebody in the store causing a problem. And it's only six pieces on the pizza. And so then I gave the money, everything. I gave the money, and then I checked the pizza. Oh, okay. So then I gave the money, and I ain't seen no pepperonis on the pizza. And okay. so I asked her, where the pepperonis? And then she started putting her hands all on the pizza after okay. she didn't touch some money, okay? So okay. that's one reason why I don't want to eat the pizza. Okay. And then I asked the man, I said, you know, she told me it was 12 pieces, and he came putting his hands all over the pizza. Okay. And I don't want to eat the pizza, so I just want my money back. Okay. They won't give it to me. Okay. That's the only problem. Just, just you want to go on to what their side story is? Sure, sure. Oh, they told me on the phone that uh, this is 12-inch pizza. It's 12 slices. I thought it's a 12-inch pizza. I mean, it's a 12 in diameter. You know, if you're going to cut it six slices, I can cut it 12 for you, you know? Whatever. That's the same size. You should ask how many people does it feed, not how many slices. Because those can be tiny slices. Then she started swearing and stuff, and she called her buddy and, you know, her husband or whatever, and he came over, and he started, you know, all those efforts and stuff, and I said, you know, just take it easy, and, you know, what do you want? He said, I want my money back, and then uh, I thought, well, you know, i give you my money back, you know, I don't have to, because, you know, you had the pizza, and you can pick them up, and you paid for them, she paid for them already, and, you know, that's it, why, why does she want to change her mind? Okay, let, let's see if we can settle this. Uh... Well, their big bitch is that somebody put their finger on the pizza. Chef, I made those pizzas. She's yeah, telling me, where is the ham? I told her, these are the ham. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she wants her money back, so are you going to give her money back or what? I don't know. I mean, you know. Well, I'm get her out of here for number one. Yeah. <laughs> we're, not, we're not telling you Why you, you have to, okay? You never get pieces like that in your life. All right. You know, I think the next thing we should do is we should confiscate those pizzas for evidence, yeah. right? <laughs>